Chances are, if you're watching this video, you're looking for some kind of power station to take along camping to charge all of the devices. And that's what I've been looking for for about six months now. They started to get popular. You have a few options. You can charge them in the vehicle when you're on the road. You can charge them from solar panels. You can get external solar panels if you're planning on camping for a couple weeks somewhere. Or if you're planning to do a cross-country trip, it's kind of nice. You can charge as you're driving from the top of your van or your vehicle. Also, you can plug it into the vehicle, charge from the vehicle while you're driving. They do give you a power adapter, which is pretty cool. And you can charge from home. It takes about a couple hours time to charge this up to a full charge on the EB55 from home. So that's pretty cool. It does last me three or four days, weighs about 16 pounds, and it will make you a cup of coffee when you wake up after a night of camping, which is one of the most kind of impressive things that this little guy can do. We're gonna test out three different popular coffee makers today. We're gonna to test out a Mr. Coffee, an Impresso single touch coffee maker, and we're gonna test out the Keurig single press coffee maker. There's a new one that just came out, a little mini version, so I'm looking forward to testing that in this review for you guys and give you guys some good quality review, tested information for this EB55 review. So let's go ahead and get started with the first of many items that we're gonna test with the EB55. Let's go ahead and get the party started. Here we go. Now, first things first, when you get your Blue 80 EB55, you want to hook up the power supply and plug it into the input port right here. This is your AC input. It says it has a max input of 10 amp here. And on the back of this power supply, it actually says eight amp max output. So it doesn't do the full 10 amp, but it does show eight amp output, which is pretty good. And it has a built-in fan. So one of the things that I would have to tell you on this review is that, yeah, you can hear this fan all the way across the room. So if you're charging this somewhere, you wanna keep it kind of a close eye on it anytime you're charging any type of batteries in your house because I believe there are 18650s in this that make all the power up for this EB55. So you wanna be careful with those. They can catch on fire. So, you know, uh, you wanna keep your Lion batteries within line of sight when you're charging stuff. So it's super important, but I found that this charges up in about two hours time, which is pretty fast for how big this behemoth is. Now it also shows you a display for your input, 198 watt coming from that charger. And you can see the progress bar here all the way up to hundred. And right now we're starting at the very bottom because I've already spent this entire battery supply doing the test for the Mr. Coffee. Um, the great thing was that I did test three different types of coffee makers with the Blue Eddy EV55 and two of them failed, one of them worked. And I'm gonna let you know in this review how that testing went because I think coffee is pretty important to you guys, especially when you're out camping. So the first one that I tested and I really wanted this to work was the Nespresso. This is a countertop espresso and I figured this one wouldn't work. It has too much of a wattage draw and that was a total fail for the Nespresso. Don't even try that one with this power bank. The next one I tried was the Keurig Mini and I bought this one from Target for about 80 bucks and I was really praying that this one worked because this would be the perfect one to take camping but guess what? That one also failed. That was a total failure. And I like this one so much that I just kept trying again and again to get the Keurig Mini to work because it was so portable, so small, and just really so cool. I even tried to just plug it into my 300 watt inverter right straight to the Sprinter battery. That didn't work either, and I knew it wouldn't work, but I wanted to try it anyway. So now we're on to the Mr. Coffee. I bought another coffee maker from Target, and this time, it's working baby. I was able to get hot water to come out. I tested it right in the Target parking lot and I couldn't wait. So I took it home and then I wanted to see how many pots it would make on a full charge. So here we go with the full testing of the Mr. Coffee Mini. All right guys, now that I finally have a coffee maker that will work with this one, the EB55, I wanna know how many times how many pots of coffee I can make on a full charge battery. So the first pot looks like on the second pot broke me down to about 80% battery charge. And this is 80, 60, 40, 20 here. And it shows me my output right now is 590. So that's underneath the full 700 watt capacity capability. So um, I'm just underneath the limit 
that this thing can output to run this little miniature Mr. Coffee. So um, now I just want to see how many pots of coffee, simulated pots of coffee, we can get going with this battery. So let's uh, keep testing for you and I'll let you know. Okay, this is pot number four and the fan kicks on when the coffee starts to brew. Okay guys, five pots are done now. We're on pot number nine right now. That's pretty impressive. Pot number 10 guys, still brewing and at 40%, still outputting at 591 watts. Pot number 13 and we're still outputting 590 watts and it looks like we depleted the battery down to 20% after 13 pots from the Mr. Coffee. I'm gonna keep going until this will not output any more watts. Okay, the Blue Eddy EB55 is now on the 15th pot brewing strong. This burner has been going the whole time I've been doing all these brews and we're right now outputting 596 watts. The battery does seem to show a red light here. It's getting down toward the bottom of the charge at 20% and I'm hoping that I can get number 15 completely brewed for you guys. Okay guys, the Mr. Coffee turned off. It is now completely spent. So we're at the bottom of the battery at 0% here. And it looks like we were able to brew 14 and a half pots from the miniature Mr. Coffee here. So I, I mean, I know how important coffee is to you guys. So this was kind of the big test for me. I mean, even over kind of charging drone batteries, I want my coffee when I start my day out for a day of filming. So um, first things first, cup of coffee, and then go drone filming. But 14 and a half pots, that is very acceptable for you know a weekend out camping. So the EB55 will charge all of the things. We've talked about drone batteries, devices, laptops, being able to make a cup of coffee on the road. It will do all of those things and it will do all these things at once, which is pretty cool. So right now I have two 4S 1100 batteries. These are both, both HV batteries and I'm charging them all total four amp off this side over here with the AC output. I've got four connectors right here. Two of them have a spot for the ground. If you have a three plug prong, it will plug into these top two. If you have two traditional plugs without the prong, it will plug into the bottom. So that's kind of nice. It has more ports than I've seen on some of the other ones around the same price. And they jacked in four different USB ports here, charging at three amp for the power output, which is great. So not only can I charge up here wirelessly at 15 watt, I can charge down here at three amp and charge up my iPhone or Android device super quick. So uh, I'm thinking maybe 20 minutes for a full charge at three amp. That's kind of nice. You can also charge other devices, which sometimes I have to do. I have to charge up my Insta360 ONE R. That has a USB-C port right here. And I've got a USB-C port on here, a single one at 100 watt. I kind of wish they had two or three USB-C ports on there because some of us have a phone and you have a camera with a USB-C port. It would be nice to have a few multiples of that USB-C port, but you can't have everything. So we also have a DC output on here and that outputs at 12 volt at 10 amps. So you can plug in any type of car device that you'd normally plug into your cigarette lighter right here. And if you wanna make a cup of coffee on the road like I used to, I can use this little sort of truck stop style coffee maker that I had. That coffee pot took 25 minutes to make me a cup of coffee. So I quit using that one, but I can plug in any other type of car cigarette lighter adapter or device devices in there and that will work just great. So that's about it for our testing with the EB55. Hopefully this review show, kind of showed you what the EB55 will do and won't do. So I was able to get 14 and a half pots with the Mr. Coffee Mini, which is about a $20 coffee maker that you can take camping with you. It also has an auto drip setup timer so you can set it the night before on the EB55 and you can wake up to a specific time and have two cups of coffee waiting for you when you crawl out of bed. Aside from coffee, the three different ones that I tested, I was able to also run up to 10 amp my LiPo charger for my FPV race drones. That's pretty sweet too, off of the AC output there, up to 700 watt at 10 amp. That's acceptable and you can use it for an entire weekend. It's not gonna go dead on you just charging 4S 1300s, which is pretty much the standard FPV drone battery. Aside from that one, you could probably get at least 10 cycles out of any DJI Mavic battery out there 
on the planet. So take your DJI drone with you, take your FPV race drone, take your coffee pot, take your laptop, your devices, all the things you can power off the EB55. So I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm just a little bummed out that my Carrig Mini wouldn't do single press coffee, but you know, it is what it is. They're getting more powerful all the time and for $599, it's not bad. I think it's pretty sweet. And actually, I kind of prefer this one over the $2,000 bigger versions that run up to 2,000 watt. I'm not trying to run a television or anything like that. I just want to run the basic appliances while I'm camping. Chargers, devices, and now a cup of coffee. I'm pretty stoked. Thanks again for subscribing, guys, and watching the Drone Camps channel. Camping and drones right here on the channel all the time. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.